All right. Hello and welcome. Shit. All right. Hello and welcome. This is going to be a new series. As you can see, it is Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. I don't know where I could begin with this game. Uh, it came out in 2003, and when I originally had it, I had this game for the PlayStation 2, okay? Fuck, I, I, I was hooked since the first time I played it. It's, it's fucking amazing, okay? I did a review for it. I think it is probably... One of the best, if not the best, in the the Prince of Persia series, okay? I played the Prince of Persia game that came out after this. I didn't beat it, however, but I just didn't like it. It, it didn't feel like it was, like, loyal to the series, you know? Prince of Persia The Sands of Time feels as if it is very loyal to the original games, from the style to the gameplay, you know what I mean? The ones after this, they don't feel, like I said just a few seconds ago, they don't feel like they're loyal to the series, you know? What? I don't know. Like, I, I don't like the style that they did. I, I, I don't like any of it. Okay, so, recording this video is a fucking pain in the ass. I had to actually download a program so that I could play this game in window mode windowed mode rather which is already fucked uh, the windows big enough okay which is a good thing but I just hate playing games in windowed mode uh, but I have to because the recording software that I have is uh, it, it, it's fucking fidgety at best okay I think that all recording software is fucking really fidgety, especially for recording games, you know, it's, it's fucking bullshit, but I fucking deal with it, you know what I mean? So, uh, without further ado, let's fucking get right into it. God, I fucking love this game. Now, like I said, I, I, I beat this game. So, but it was a long time ago, you know. It was when the it was when the game came out. Let this cutscene play. I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good work into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, 
The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in the first battle. Alright, so now we have control. Uh shit. Um I don't know where to fucking begin. I just fuck I just really love playing this game. So, you know. Uh, so, yeah, how are the controls compared to a, a PlayStation 2? Well, they work pretty fucking good on the PC, I have to say. You know, they, they work fucking perfectly. That's a really easy way to kill people if you've not played this game. All you have to do is press the jump button as you approach an enemy. And... That's it. You know what I mean? Two hits. That's it. Watch. That's it. Okay, yeah, that little animation right there, that is probably one of my only gripes with this game, because he fucking does it all the time, you know? Many men that day and to win honor it's... and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Well, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, like I said, it, it's really fucking annoying. He does it all the time. That, yeah, that's my only gripe. But, yeah, back to what the prince said just there. Not by killing. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit. Because I'm going to kill all these motherfuckers right here. See, look, he does it, like, all the fucking time. It's fucking hell. I remember it used to piss me off back when I first played the game. Uh, I think this game really caused, like, uh, a big fucking... Mo uh, how, how would you word it? A big... I don't know. It caused like a big trend in in games. You know, with all this, this wall jumping and wall running and shit, you know? Because there weren't really any other games. I mean, there were games before this game, obviously, that had those things in it. But none were as big or as popular as this one, I, I think. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, fuck. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Because there was a lot of games that, that came out after this that were trying to do the features, the same features that this game had. They didn't do them as well, obviously, but, you, you know, you know what I'm getting at here, you know? I'm really getting fucked up here. Oh, but yeah, I think they put 
really put a lot of time and care into this game. They really wanted it to succeed, and for all intents and purposes, it did. Now, you see, this part here really fucked me up when I first played it. And, you know, it kind of fucked me up when I did my review for it. Uh, when I was initially recording the footage. Because it doesn't tell you here, okay, what you need to do. And really, I suppose all you need to do is go into the controls. Uh, but I remember back in the day, okay, I, I was younger. I was, I, was, I was dumber, you know, who isn't when they're younger. And I kept fucking jumping off this ledge by accident because I thought you had to push jump and down. But no, uh, in this case, if you're playing on PC, you push C. Not push, you press C, rather. You press C to jump down, okay? Don't jump. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's another kind of like small gripe that I have in this initial early stage of the game you see the prince of that animation where he sheathes his sword and his <laughs> non-existent dagger like what the fuck is that dude? that's like a bit of fucking laziness if you ask me that's kind of fucking oh shit I didn't mean to do that that's that's pretty unacceptable in a fucking in a big game like this you know what I'm saying I mean, they fucking do shit like that all the time nowadays. Anyway, fucking games nowadays are fucking shit. Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Uh, more good things? Well, you know, if you see my review, you'll know all the things that I like about this game that I, I think they did a good job on. Uh, the voice acting is good. I think they did a really good job hiring all their voice actors. Uh, shit. Uh, what else? Um, and there it lay, just out of reach, the dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Uh, the graphics are probably better than I remember them being on the PS2 for the PC, which uh, is a sensible uh, thing, you know. PCs always have had more power than your consoles. I, I, I just, I don't know what it is. I, I think, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't describe it. It seems like there's like a filter or something. It kind of smooths everything out a bit for the PC version, and it seems like the lighting effects are a bit better. I mean, I have, fucking I haven't played this game on on the PS2 since it came out in 2003, and you know that's shit. That's what 13 years ago now. So yeah, avoid spiky poles. Yeah, no shit.
Fucking hell. Thought I was gonna... Thought I was gonna fall off there for a second. Really shit construction, if you ask me. Shit shouldn't be crumbling like that. Yeah, careful here uh, to line up your jumps fairly well because if you don't, it, it's a long drop. If the prince falls from too great a height, he'll he'll obviously die immediately. You know, there there's no. It's a good thing, you know what I mean? Makes sense. All right, now this part's a bit tricky. Once you get to the last wall jump, uh, I found that I tend to want to do an extra unnecessary jump, uh, which you don't want to do, okay? Look, you just keep going, okay? And then once you get there, stop, okay? I, I have a tendency to do one extra jump toward the, the gate on the other side, but don't do that because you'll just fall off. We got the dagger of time. It was time to get out now. Where are you going, Prince? I don't want you to go that way. Yeah, fucking hell. I mean, I, I'd say this prince fucking had a really good mentor when he was young. I'd like to be that agile. Shit. Oh, damn, I got fucked up there. Didn't mean to do that. And that's it. I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Your Majesty, you promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger. Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir in this first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through the city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And two dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. <laughs> Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. 
the sand? Why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince. Dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No. No! Stop! <laughs> so Sorry, I think the prince's face right there was just really funny. What? Right, well, we have the obligatory <laughs> evil sorcerer to contend with. Now it's time to put the dagger to use. You have to use the dagger to kill the kill these bastards. That's what you're going to be doing basically the whole game is sucking the sand out of them so they can't come back to life. I think that's a really a novel idea, you know what I mean? Sand zombies, you know, that's pretty fucking cool. Struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them, could I liberate them from their monstrous living dead. See, I, that guy's gonna come back to come back to life. I couldn't fucking get him. Get him again. No big deal. I'll start the story from here next time. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Okay. And in the...
in the next episode we're gonna be I can see it by the look in your eyes doing stuff my story is impossible so thank you for watching